This is a more standard camel game, this time in an EBR uh, on Sand River. It's an oil tier 10 battle. Uh, Crab lucked out. There's a Sheridan on the other team, and he's in an EBR. Two RD per side. A uh, pile of TDs and a bunch of heavies and mediums. Yeah, I love games with all these TDs because, you know, they don't go anywhere and then they shoot each other and it just comes down to how good the light tank is. So this is actually also using a full stealth build. I've got my EBR equipped here with uh, Bond Optics and a Directive to get to 446 view range. So right at the edge, a CVS in the slot and the Bounty LNES uh, low noise exhaust. So I'm running about 53% camo which is really useful on open maps like this. Uh, there's not a lot of bushes to be waxed off here, but there are lots of uh, lots of things where you don't want to get seen in front of that pile of TDs. And you have uh, conceded about 10 or 12 meters of view range by yeah, dropping you, the vents. Yeah, you do, you do use a little bit of view range by, by losing the vents. So I'm just going to make kind of a standard EBR run here up onto this. You go to that ridge, you cut around this rock. That's pretty aggressive. That's. <laughs> oh, I make this sort of all the time because you see as you come down there, you just duck right behind that and you can see I just drive off and drop low. And uh, as you can see, there ends up not being too much of a, uh, a Sheridan afterwards, which uh, makes the rest of this game a lot Sheridan easier. Sheridan <laughs> versus EBR just as sad, though. Well, I mean, particularly when you go to such a, a crazy spot, you know? I didn't even notice so. where he was. Oh, you got lit uh, he's like some... right there on the ridge. So I got lit by the CS. He's still right there. I didn't manage to pull him out. Um, and so I'm just going to not get seen in the same place twice. I know there's a ton of TD guns here. I'm just going to make a nice safe exit. Again, this is one of the low noise is really helpful. You can just get out. You know, you have to be really close for them to see you. So I'm going to I'm going to go up north and get a count because we're really arrayed along the, you know, the ABC lines, or the was it one two three lines? One two three lines, and yeah, and they've yeah. given you've basically given up the north completely. Exactly. Yeah, no pants. There is little hanging out there because there's just entirely too many tanks in this zone, and yep. nobody here, and just the one tank here. So if they push this line, uh, they push the K line, they can shoot into middle, like you did yep. in the previous um, Sand River game without too much competition exactly and so i decide that rather than tangle with a caro or whatever might be north i need to make use of this strength particularly with this wheezy kind of fronting um and make use of all these tds and go Hello, ahead and get down here and and yeah here's here's a 4005 and I, I i'm i'm getting greedy here i'm like this is this is tasty like that's a 4k i want to get eyes on him because i know he can't see me right here and there there you go i pick up another one and now I'm just gonna kind of hang out here for like the next three minutes. Or yeah, that four CS minutes. is just a little bit more dangerous because he could have view range, but he yeah, he's still also 400 plus meters away. Exactly, like he's got to be awfully close to to actually spot me. And I have got picked up the Foch now in the base. Um, you can see my team's sitting a little deep to to do some of this, but yeah, I'm, they need to move a, to K line. Exactly. But there's still a good amount back at base. I can see an Oods and a 50B and some other stuff. And so there you go. There's a stir. If I'm like, come on, guys, shoot him. Looks like Pants just putting a clip into him. Oh, he bounce. he's bouncing off the heat shield. There yeah. we go. He bounced three off the heat shield there. Yeah, but Artie's putting it in. And so, again, this is really just like highlighting that, that, that low noise exhaust. Like... It is hard for them to see me. And like, Oof, was that a four? Oh, yeah, that was a one eight three. Yeah, one eight three. Frankie, Frankie. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I think Frankie actually three marked his one eight three in this game, or maybe the next one. Um, yeah, he loves having those stealth build light tanks spotting for him. Yeah, I mean it works out well. Come on, and Frankie. So, this four thousand five is all yours, man. Yeah, he's like oh, really he tucked missed. in, so he misses. He hits the rock. I remember him commenting on that. But yeah, the CS is his run. And so I, you know, I'm just, I'm just tooling around, you know, as long as I see them, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I took the shot on the E4 because he was partially camoed there. There's a tree that you use as a bush there. Oh, come on, yep. Frankie, make it work. Yeah. I mean, I'm being a little cautious here because um, I'm, I myself there, is pretty close oh, to three marking. Is that, that was that? No. Yeah. Your 5A decides he doesn't want. He's had enough of this. He's bored. Yeah, I'm splitting it with him. You know, it's fine. 
He's making it easy for me to sit here because no one's even looking for me. You know, there you go. There it is. And I just hold for the kill shot. Hey, Chang. Hey, what's up? We're recording, We're recording. Uh, videos of uh, um, stealth builds. Oh, nice. Turn, turn on the stream. We're commenting for YouTube. Yeah, I'm watching it. Are cool. you guys doing it right now? You're in the middle? Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, I'm down here, and I'm trying to pick up the stirve again. It's like 252 meters, 280 meters. That's a kill meters. shot. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, the gun takes a moment to aim when you have no mods, you know? No V-stab, no vents. Uh, wait, V-stab? It has a built-in V-stab. I mean, they keep taking it away bit by bit, but sure. So, yeah, I think that's, like, that's most of the game right there. At this point, I'm just kind of, like, waiting to see... Come on, Frankie, waiting for that shot, Frankie. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait for it. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it comes. 450. Yeah, non pen. But hey, mine goes in, so. No more uh, 268. And I don't even know what lit me there. Probably from the mid ridge. That's still alive. Carl. Oh, the Caro, yeah. But, you know, there's there's nothing left now. There's a Foch in the corner. Oh, yeah. Grill. I decided I decided I wanted the grill, too. I decided that the grill would be a, a nice, tasty way to, to help. Get the marks up. But yeah, you know, by the time the gun reloads with the 11 second reload, you've gone you dark. Know, you're going dark. So you just, you know exactly when to go back in. I'm just trying to spot the girl here. I think he's tucked in behind that rock. He or is. he's may have dipped down. Has he, into he's the on trench. the rock. He's on the rock. That was the foe should maybe picking him up. Unlucky roll there. But not lit. I mean, I don't know. Was I actually camoed there, or...? I think it was distance. You think it was distance? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's close to 10% to shooting camo, so... And yeah, Karos we... are not notable for running gun... Uh, for running vision mods. Yeah, no. That's why I think it was the CS that led me earlier. But maybe the Carl was closer. Caro was like a 50 meters closer. And now just a standard EBR cleanup. Go fast. Get butts. So, I don't know. Chang, you've run the uh, low noise EBR. What are your thoughts? Um, I like it way more than I thought I would. <laughs> it <made laughs> way much bigger of a difference than I first anticipated. So. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel about it. I mean, I did it out of, straight, I'll admit. I'll admit to the whole world, straight out up out of desperation. I wanted to three mark the EBR and I was trying to figure out how to do it and I just couldn't, you know, come up with a build that was was helping me. And I found that choosing between CVS and low noise was too much. And so it was like, is four forty view range enough? But it turns out it might be. And I think you had tried a all gun EBR at one point as well. So you just give yeah. up on spotting and that didn't work out either. Well, not not good enough at shooting to make that work. Plus, it's just easier to get, you know, what are you going to get? Two more shots in? But if you get, you know, a thousand spotting, you've already beaten two more shots in. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, like, the penetration and DPM limit the gun so much already that even if you did run, like, feast tab, ram, or vents or whatever, I feel like it was, you'd still struggle. So. Exactly. So, final stat line of this game, 3,067 damage, two kills, 6,500 assists, 6,504 assists, and 10 tanks spotted. And a whole pile of medals. You got uh, your usual scout, your patrol duty, uh, confederate, but also tank sniper because that gun apparently is a very good, accurate gun at range. Well, I mean, I want to make it clear to anybody who's watching that, like, go back and watch that video and tell me how many shots I took not from camo, right? Like, two? Well, that's right? the whole like... point about this build is <laughs> you, you take your shots from camo when nobody can see you. Exactly. It's easy to hit them if nobody can see you. Well, thank you, Crap. Thank you for Chang. And yeah, unexpected <laughs> yeah. Chang. I was wondering if you guys, if this is what you guys.